What is up? What is up? What is up? FS Club. New Let's Play Railway Empire. Uh, I tried playing a little bit of this, like, I think it was like at the beginning of the year, but then I kind of got too busy, so I stopped playing it. Uh, I'm picking this back up. We're going to start all the way back from the beginning, and we're going to actually complete this. They did release a DLC today called Great Britain uh, and Ireland. I will be, we will be getting to that, so uh, don't worry about that. Uh, this is a game by Calypso Media. Uh, this is kind of like a simulation kind of game. If you remember, like the games, like uh, what was it? Uh, uh, roller, uh, not Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, I can't think of it. If if if, if you know the name, uh, please put it down in the comments below. I know uh, ro uh, Roller Tycoon maybe. Uh, something like that. So let's get to the campaign. I've played a little bit of this, as you can see, I got that one, which we will go back and do this one again. So, uh, let's go that. Okay, the first chapter takes you to the construction sites of the Union Pacific Railroad, which was started in 1863. Tracks were built westwards to establish the first transcontinental line. While you are co conquering the vastness of the Great Plains and the heights of the Rocky Mountains with your tracks, you will learn about the basics of a railway empire. Thomas Clark Durant, the visionary in charge of Union Pacific, will assist you. Okay, so uh, we're going to be normal, uh, 650,000, Omaha, and snowfall. Oh, you can get snowfall on here? That's cool. The rest are just gold diggers who don't have a clue about how this business works. Okay. Uh, change the name to FS Club. Okay. When visiting his gentleman's club, Roger Smith is always impeccably dressed from... Meticulous planning, tables, okay. figures, and okay. hard facts. Okay. Uh, dressed from top to toe in a suit, top hat, and cane. From him, a pediatric approach to a county is much a matter of course for him as having a precise plan for each company. He has no problem taking advantage of his competitors. I did an this. evaluation of the contenders, and I am the best choice. If a successful competitor builds a train station in a city, he quickly cites a factory there. A manufacturer, newly constructed factories are 50% cheaper. Shy auctions are 50% more expensive and backhandedly. It is able to buy a town's factory with an Let's auction. Let's go! Time which, is money. Which, this, uh, they did do a new update to this today. So if you have the game, everybody got this new update. I know it's supposed to include a lot of stuff, I'm not sure. But I think these, uh, these uh, traits are one of the new things. So let's get started. In 1863, on the banks of the Missouri River, the last chapter in the monumental undertaking of the Transcontinental Railroad began. The workers of the Union Pacific Railroad began laying their tracks westward from Omaha through the wild heart of the North American continent. Massive challenges awaited them. Away from all civilization, the country was vast, the weather ruthless, and the challenges tremendously energy sapping. But there was a masterstroke of modern engineering to be accomplished. To tame the wilderness and to conquer it with steel, fire, and steam. Never before had anything like this been ventured. But the time was ripe. Okay. Greetings. My name is Thomas Clark Durand. Exactly, the head of Union Pacific. We will go down in history as the ones who created the Transcontinental Railroad. And that, my friend, is your job as Chief Engineer. I can supervise everything here on site right now, as I have to meet with some politicians in Washington. <laughs> First, okay. you should familiarize yourself with the basic controls. Move the I camera in all that. directions. Now, test the camera's zoom function. You can also rotate the camera. Give it a try. Very good. Now you know the basic controls. Your first task is to create a rail connection between Omaha and Norfolk to the northwest. Okay, to the Both northwest. cities will need a station for this. You already have a station in Omaha, but you still need to build one in Norfolk. 
To do this, switch to building construction mode. Okay, building construction. Okay, we just need probably a small train station for now. Let's put it like right about there. Okay. I think I clicked on the movie thing instead. Uh, remove that. There we go. Put it right there. Very good. Now the two stations need to be connected with tracks. To do this, switch to track construction mode. Okay. Ooh. Hey, look, it's got a brewery in here. I need to move here. Okay. Uh, track construction. Now plan the tracks between the stations in Norfolk and Omaha. To do this, select the two station tracks one after the other. Then okay. pay for your track planning. Okay, so there's set track piece. Okay, we need to move. Yeah, okay, there we go. Move that over by the. That. Zero, zero. 57,102. Looks pretty good. That's what now I'm create your first train so that you can set up a rail line between your go. stations. Create your first train. Okay, so. Gotta go here. Oops. Gotta hold it down. Train list, town task, track construction, new train. Initially, your train only exists on paper. It's not much use to you without a locomotive. Okay, so add locomotive. We all we got is the Philadelphia, the 1863, 56, what's that, power? 27 miles an hour and 35,500. So this is actually cheaper than our tracks was. Okay. Let's buy this. We actually have 549,000. That's actually pretty good mainly for this time. There we go. Okay, so we got the new locomotive. We can't hire anybody Additionally, right each train needs a rail line that passes through all the stations it should stop at. Okay, so rail Now line. join your two stations to the rail line by selecting them one after the other. That's enough for your first rail line. Now Ooh, confirm it so it becomes active. Duration, 44 days, work line. Okay, so save Very it. good. Now you can see the journey your train will take. Yeah, there it is. If there is something to transport, the train will automatically take it. How much of meat? There we go. The first train. However, as each locomotive needs water, sand, and lubricant on its journey, you have to place a supply tower along the route. Uh, construction, supply tower, signal, station with signaling, signaling control. That's cool. Supply tower. Okay, right here. Very good. Your train is now traveling between Omaha and Norfolk. But you can do even more. Each city needs goods from the surrounding area. For example, every city needs corn. Look, there is a corn farm near Omaha. Until now, the corn has made it to the city in the conventional way. But we want to change that. Now construct a rural train station in the marked location with a corn farm within its radius. Okay. Uh, building construction. Okay, at least uh, right. Let's see. Yeah, that should be good. Ah, this thing again. Now connect go. the new rural train station to the station in Omaha. Okay, train track construction. And let's bring this all the way up here to Omaha. And let's check the tracks. Looks good to me. And Hold now that. things are getting tricky as we have to deal with a logistical problem. As Norfolk should also enjoy fresh corn, there will soon be two trains traveling on the stretch of track between Omaha and Norfolk. Of course, this will then result in a conflict. Since trains cannot travel through each other, you'll need a side track between Omaha and Norfolk. This consists of one parallel track and two signals. First, create a side track. It needs to be at least long enough for a fully loaded train. Okay, so we gotta create a side track here, so put that right there. Just put it to right there. And there. 
Excellent. Okay. However, your trains won't necessarily use the sidetrack, as they generally always take the shortest route. For this reason, you also have to specify the direction of travel on each parallel track. Now open building construction mode and set up a signal in the highlighted area pointing in the direction of the switch. Trains will then be able signals. to stop here when the single track oh, is in cool. use. Okay, so we need to put a signal right here. So why can't I place? Oh, probably because that movie thing right there. Let's take that thing off. And then, there we go. Okay, I put one down. Am I supposed to put another one down or something? No? Let's see, remove signal. Uh, can tell me how I can change them? Let's see, change signal direction. Now make sure that the oh, track can only be traveled in one direction. For this purpose, set the signal so the trains coming from the opposite direction cannot pass. Excellent. Oh, there you now go. do the same on the parallel track so that each parallel track has a different direction. Place a second signal in the highlighted area and block the track to trains coming from the opposite direction. Okay, so you put one over here. You gotta make sure it facing the other way. Uh, let's see, change signal direction. And then. Very good. There we go. I'm sure that it wasn't at all easy. You will soon come to realize that signals are an important aid in guaranteeing smooth rail operations. You will find more information and tips under Hints and Tips. Okay, so we got that part done. Now assemble a new train and give it a locomotive and a rail line. Your new rail line should run via Omaha to Norfolk so that the people of Norfolk can be supplied with corn. So, from Omaha to Norfolk? She, she didn't go from the corn, uh, who knows. Let's, new train. Okay, add locomotive. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, Evans. Omaha and Norfolk. And save Excellent. And the corn farm will automatically make use of your train because the cities along your rail Not line are demanding corn. Conventional transportation is much more costly for the farm. We are still missing something. Locomotives wear out over time and need to be regularly maintained so they can perform their duties more reliably. For this purpose, there needs to be at least one maintenance building on each rail line where locomotives can be serviced if necessary. Construct such a maintenance building at your station in Omaha now. To do this, select the station itself and expand the station with this building. $80,000, wow. Right, there we've we been lollygagging for long enough. I need to return to Washington for further miserable negotiations with our representatives of the people. Uh, I've written a task list for you. Take a look at it and complete the tasks within the given time period. Do not disappoint me. Okay, looks like we're off by ourselves for a while now. Okay, let's see some of the tasks you've given us. Connect Omaha and North Platte. Uh, connect Omaha and Cheyenne. Deliver 16 loads of cattle to Denver. Deliver 16 loads of meat to Cheyenne. Connect 150,000 people to your rail network. Reach a population of 30,000 in Cheyenne. Uh, connect Omaha and Rock Springs and transport 100 people from Cheyenne to Rock Springs without stopping. Wow. Okay, so first we need Omaha and North Platte. And there's my quarterly report. Okay. So what was that? That was uh, Omaha and North Platte. Okay, where is this North Platte? What's this? A train that stops the signal could be pushed into the switch in front of it, therefore blocking the train route. Okay. Is my other train going finally? Yes. Okay. So, Norfolk. Okay, what was the. North Platte. There it is. So, let's build a. What's this? Connection bonus $350,000. Ooh, we definitely need to be building right there. Let's build a train line. Oh wait, no, not track construction. I need a 
need building construction. There we go. Okay, let's put this thing right about there. And then put this. Oops. Okay. Distract my imposter. Build a station as close as possible to industry to reduce loading times. Okay. Okay, so let's build this all the way up to Norfolk. Okay, come on. Why can't I connect this? Supply with goods by rail. Oh, that stuff. Okay. So it's 89,000. Looks good to me. Okay, build good. the route. That's finished. You're making progress. Hundred Meriden Cross. Transcripts are no longer a dream. In the last few days, laborers from the Union Pacific River have crossed the Hundredth Meridian with their tracks. With the first milestone, Union Pacific has now ensured the right to forge ahead with the line through the heart of the continent. Renowned politicians and representatives of the railroad celebrated this achievement with a festive incursion to the scene of the event. Look at that flying cigars. Springfield, Boston, and St. Louis reports from several eyewitnesses spoke of strange flying objects in the air that looked like cigars. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's also put a train right on here. Uh, locomotive for Philadelphia. Uh, let's put a rail line from here all the way to here. And save and exit. And then we're... Oops. They're also going to need a... Come on, station with signaling supply tower. So I'll put this supply tower right there. Okay, and that one train doesn't really have many passengers or anything in there. Okay, so we got one task done. Uh, connect Omaha and Cheyenne next. Okay, so where is this Cheyenne? Cheyenne's all the way over there. Okay, see what we're what I plan on doing is trying to connect all these first. And then we'll worry about, you know, delivering the cattle, delivering this, that. So let's go to Cheyenne. Uh, train station. Ah, come on. Okay, and there's that one. Okay, track construction. Okay, now we're going all the way to North Platte. Okay, got to make sure also... It's not really running through anything. I mean, a little bit right here. Okay, 1%. Let's see if we can move that a little bit over. At 2. Not going to really get better, really. Now, 117,000. Oh, well. Those politicians in Washington get on one's nerves. But now let's get back to your tasks. As you can see, Cheyenne is still a little town hoping for an upswing caused by the railroad connection. But a city will only attract new inhabitants if it is supplied with enough goods. Cities receive basic goods from the surrounding area. If you construct stations in the right places and establish rail lines, your trains will be used to transport goods and you will make profits for transportation. But for this, you have to know what goods a city actually needs. You can find out any city's current needs. Now select Cheyenne and view the city's demand for goods. As you can see, Cheyenne currently needs only a handful of goods and you can only deliver goods that are in demand. As the city grows, it will demand further goods. At the moment, you can supply grain and wood. Both of these goods are available to the north of Cheyenne. Okay. Connect Cheyenne to a timber business and a wheat farm and establish a new rail line that connects them both to Cheyenne. Ooh, wheat and wood. Okay, let's actually... Let's see if I can actually upgrade this thing a little bit. Uh, expand station, 60,000. Yep, okay, there we go. And maintenance building, there we go. Wonder, okay, I wonder how you can move this. Can you, can you 
move tracks at all. Actions. Auction. Demolish. Train list. Okay, what is that movie? Okay, in bulldoze mode, you can get rid of trains. Okay, let's see if we can actually do this. Okay. Get rid of that. Okay, now we need to finish up track construction and then go all the way to the second track instead. And build route. Change the route of playing tracks. Oh, I know how to do that. Okay. So, where's is that train still coming? Let's see. It looks like it is. Okay, so that should be able to get through there now. Okay, so let's build something right here. It looks like we're going to need something bigger. Large train station. I guess a large train station it is. What is that? Oops. Okay, so now we're going to need some tracks to get the far track right here. Okay, follow the applies. Right, the shorter the loading and loading times, more rail tracks will be available. Okay. Go right over here. Okay, we're going right to Cheyenne. Okay, let's see this. Uh, let's cut that little... Ah, that's bad. Okay, right there. Ugh, three percent. Can I get something a little bit better than ugh? Three. I don't like that four either. Six. That's even. That's even worse. Ugh. Okay, remove. Try this again. The one thing is, I have to actually get this cursor to go faster. This cursor is going slow. Okay, two percent. Just two percent. Let's see if I can actually make this a little bit less than that. Okay, one, two. Okay, we're doing that. Okay, then we can. Go right here, new train, add locomotive to Philadelphia, rail line, cook chopping all the way to Cheyenne. And well save. done. There we go. The city will soon grow. You can see how well it is being supplied at any time in the city dialogue. Basically, a city will grow once its demands are sufficiently met. I think you have learned enough. Complete the rest of your tasks. Okay, so now we got that train. Uh, this thing, of course, is going to need a supply tower. Put it right there. Okay, so let's uh, bonus for something. Oh, that's all the way up here. Billings. Okay, so what is our next task? Okay, 64, 64, got those things done. Next one is to deliver 16 loads of cattle to Denver. And Denver's right here. So we are not actually connected to Denver yet. And we got cattle right here. Okay, so let's see if we can... Do building construction. Okay, here's what we're actually going to do. We're going to build something over here in Denver. And then also build something over here next to here. Can we get something? Oh, there we go. And we get both of those things. Okay, there's that. Okay, we have $173,000. That is it. Okay, 
So let's uh, track instruction. Okay, we're gonna put this on by Cheyenne. So we're going to go for that track right there. Ooh, that's gonna be expensive. Yeah, that's better right there. 52,000. Don't want to go through a mountain. Definitely not. Okay, then go right over here. And then... Probably got to save some money up just to be able to do the, uh, get the trains in. Okay, that's $77,000. We actually have enough for it. Now we have $618,000. Okay, time is going slow right now. Okay, well that will be the end of this episode. I guess we're in the negatives now, so hopefully we can start getting some money. Uh, make sure if you guys did like this video, you guys pound that like button. And if you have not subbed, make sure you guys do. Cannot wait for some more of this. Uh, remember, have a great day, guys. Happy holidays. Bye.